as you've heard, welcome to Pokemon Sword and Shield, the Crown Tundra DLC. Of course, earlier this year we played the Isle of Armor. It was so much fun. And last year we played through just Pokemon Shield. I've been having so much fun going through them, capturing the Pokemon, Gigantamaxing them. It's been really cool. But now we have a whole new adventure in the frozen land of the Crown Tundra. You have a Crown Pass. Show it to the rail staff at Wedgehurst Station if you want to visit the Crown Tundra, a land where many mysteries lurk within. New adventures await there, and the blanketing snow hides legendary Pokemon of yore. That sounds super cool. You obtain the crowd crown pass, and you put it in the uh, key items pocket. A pass to get to the crown tundra. Show it to the rail staff at Winter Station. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do right now. I'm super excited to get into it. I loved the first DLC, so I'm sure this one's gonna be just as great. All right, so here we are at Winter Station, just like we did for the Isle of Armor. We can talk to this guy. You have a crown pass too. You can also go to the crown tundra. Where would you like to go today? Well, the crown tundra station, of course. I'm really excited for this. So up we go, we're gonna go way up north, I believe. Or no, we're going south. Okay. Oh yeah, here it is. Wow, and it's huge too, so that'll be fun to explore. I wonder what's a little bit south of that though. It looks like it goes back to being just grassy. The Crown Tundra. Oh boy. It's also becoming winter in real life, at least in my area, so it, it's really just fitting. Oh, hi. This must be your first visit to the Crown Tundra, am I right? I'm researching Pokemon biology around here. A number of ancient and rare Pokemon have been spotted in the Crown Tundra, you see. If I update your Pokedex for you, will you help me research what species appear here? The Pokedex is being updated. The Crown Tundra Pokedex has been added to your Pokedex. Awesome. Do your best to complete your new Crown Tundra Pokedex. Will do. So if we pause the game right now, we can take a look at the Pokedex right here. And we can see, you know, we did a really good job with getting most of the Isle of Armor Pokemon. We didn't get all of them. Um, but we got 183 out of 208 of them. So very close to it. It might be something we return to later on. Um, I wanted to before the Crown Dodger came out, but I got too busy. Either way, apparently we've already caught 86 of the different Pokemon that show up in the Crown Tundra, so I'll have to work on more of this, but yeah, tons of mysteries when it comes to this. It's very cool. Uh, I think that we'll just keep moving forward for now. So that means we'll see some old Pokemon, we'll see some new Pokemon, it'll be great. Uh, hello, sir. It's been a while since I came back home, but it seems like a lot's changed. It's a lot colder than I remember, and there are so many rockish Pokemon wandering around. Interesting. You want to show me your Crown Tundra Pokedex? Sure. Okay, let me see it. Your current progress on the Town Tundra Pokedex is 114 Pokemon seen and 86 Pokemon caught. You've been steadily increasing the number of Pokemon in your Pokedex. If you use Quick Balls to quickly catch Pokemon, I bet you'll have caught more than 100 different Pokemon in no time. Yep, that's what we'll be doing. Hello. Welcome to the Pokemon. May I help you? I don't think I have too much I need to buy at the moment, but now is a great time to stock up if we do need it. Um. I could take like a couple of max potions. I don't have a ton of money right now. So like we'll take five, that should be fine. Um, and I'm sure we'll need something like ice heals, right? Uh, we already have three of them. Let's just get two more so we can have a nice five of them. Anything else seem necessary? I don't think so. So yeah, with that being said, let's head out of here and explore the Crown Tundra. And I, like story-wise, we don't have too much leading into this. Like with Isle of Armor, we sort of met the characters before we could actually go into the Isle of Armor in the main game. Whoa. It really is like a little winter wonderland. I love it. I wonder if there's gonna be another like 99 Diglets to find. Come on, Dad, lay off and quit following me already. Oh, who are these two? I'm gonna go on a Dynamax adventure in the Max Lair and I don't need you breathing down my neck. I'm here to, do, to battle loads and loads of rare Dynamax Pokemon. <laughs> Don't you fret. I know somewhere way more fun than that musty old place. Get ready for loads of quality time with the coolest dad ever. Aw, what a generous and totally unwanted offer. Afraid I've gotta say no thanks. <laughs> so it looks like we got some daughter-father squabbles going on around here. Uh, yeah, I'm just sort of looking around to see if there's any objects to grab before we talk to them, but I don't think so. Hey, what's going on? Come on, Naya, be reasonable or get ready to be ultra mega embarrassed as I unleash the noble roar of dad. Gah, I'll take a hard pass on that, thanks. 
Excuse me, hello? Yes, you, the boy over there. My dad is stubborn as steel and he won't leave me alone. Back me up, would you? <laughs> I think this isn't any of my business. What, are you really brushing me off? That's ridiculously depressing. <laughs> Wise of you not to stick your head into people's business willy nilly. Oh, okay. What happens if I walk up to them again? Huh, have you come around on helping me after all? Sure. Brilliant. Have a great time with this geezer then. No, at all, lad. Can I, I can't say I approve you button in blindly. But if I just give you a trounce and this young lady here ought to see a reason. The name's Peony. Brace yourself, I'm pretty ferocious in battle. We'll see about that. So both of these people seem to be interesting characters. You're challenged by Pokemon trainer Peony. He's gonna send out Kaparaja. Oh, I don't know if I have a very good team right now. I don't know what my team is. Uh-oh. <laughs> Should've maybe suited up a little bit more. <laughs> Aren't you the brave one? Picking a fight with a one-time gym leader. Is he right? Oh, we have a one health as Aurora. Oh no. Do I have? Oh gosh, I didn't even think about it. Um, I don't have, <laughs> I really should have done something about this. Oh no. Okay, let's try Drizzile. Oh, it's level 70. I might just have to restart the game from the save point, heal my team, and then like actually go get my proper team back. I'm so sorry. Okay, so I reloaded the game, I got my team set up. Let's get back to it. I'm so sorry about that. I just figured that I would have that opportunity before I get into a battle, but I guess not. We're going against Copperaja here. We have Dot coming out. I know that Copperaja is a steel type, so this should be totally fine. Um, so let's get going. <laughs> Are you a brave one picking a fight with one time gym leader? A what? what does that mean, one time gym leader? Does that mean you were previously a gym leader, but not any longer? I'm guessing like a steel type one. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and do uh, Pyro Ball. Sounds good to me. It's level 70 Pokemon, so I do wanna play it a little bit safe here. If we could get a one hit takedown on it, probably be in our best interest. Boom, and there it is. Awesome. Starting our Crown Hunter journey with a super effective hit. Not bad, not bad at all, but watch out. Next time, it's my turn. Or is it? I mean, actually, the next thing you're gonna do is draw a Pokemon, then I, I get to attack again. Um, we all get experience. There's some decent experience as well. Everybody except for Jazzy because we got him to level 100 in the Isle of Armor exploring. Yeah, hopefully we can get the rest of them to level 100 throughout this series. Okay, he's sending out Agron now. We'll switch Pokemon. Um, I don't know what Agron is, by the way. So maybe we're fine with keeping it with Dot, actually. Fighting Fire, that, that covers a good ba set of bases. Steel as tough as they come. The more hits it takes, the more ultra something, something, something. All right. Oh wow, this is Agron. So this might be a new um, Crowned Hunter Pokemon. Oh, I mean, not like new to Pokemon. I always gotta clarify this, because if I don't, people get upset. It might not be a brand new Pokemon, but it might be new to Sword and Shield, or at least new to me. <laughs> I can always say that, right? When I say new, it doesn't always mean brand new Pokemon never before seen. Oh wow, this guy must have a lot of defense. He's eating a walnut or something. Okay then, restored his health using a berry, now he's using Stone Edge, uh oh. Oh wow, okay, it's an earth type too. Now I know. Sorry, Dot. I know we're about to get to level 83 as well, darn. Who can we switch to that might be able to handle you? as you get a little bit damaged by the hail here. Um, if it's ground, right, hopefully Liquidation or Whirlpool would do a good job. I don't know. Tom's level 90, though. Let's do Liquidation. Boom. Hey, there we go! Super effective. All right then, so we figured out how to take down an Aggron then. If it's a ground steel or something like that, or a rock steel, one of the two. Um, and that'll be experience for everybody except for Dot, I guess. But we do get a level up for Biggie, getting into level 89. Yeah, a lot of these guys are already very close to level 100. But there we go, we took out Trainer Peony. Guess it's not my place to be bragging. All right then, well, <laughs> he's an interesting character. <laughs> Look at me taking a thrashing from a youngster like you. Hmm? <laughs> my darling daughter's disappeared! Where have you gone, my sweet Naya? Darling daughter, huh? Uh, of course, my Naya's the sweetest, youngest daughter a dad could ask for. I brought her out here so we could have a proper father-daughter trip, first one in ages. 
And now that we've got here, she grabs the first trainer she finds, makes him a decoy, and legs it. That's my dear Naya for you. That's just her backwards way of showing her papa she loves her. Or him. <laughs> Must be. That's the type of girl she is. Ultra mega charming, isn't it? Still, without her, I can't stand the, the, this advent tour of legendary spots I've planned for us. She mentioned wanting to have a gander at some place called the Max Lair, didn't she? Sounds to me like she wants a good old papa to come chase after her. Well, she needn't worry. I'm not one for wasting time. Are you just like a grown up version of Hop? You're giving me those vibes right now. <laughs> I'll be seeing you then, lad. Take care of those strong Pokemon of yours. All right, awesome. So he's running off, trying to find out where Naya went. I have no clue, to be honest with you. Uh, what else is going on around here? So we do have a Pokeball over here. Oh, new Pokemon are showing up right away, and honestly, it's sort of out of my immediate memory which Pokemon I do and don't have. Like, do I? Oh my gosh, I do not have this thing. It's off from the front. Oh my god, that's scary. So this is a so Cryogonal, and of course, we'll be trying our best to capture as many Pokemon as possible. I don't know if I want to go too crazy with it right now because, like I said, after we complete the main story of the Crown Tundra, we'll go back through and catch as many Pokemon as possible. It'll be a lot of fun. But here goes our Quick Ball, and hopefully we can get the Cryogonal right away. We can't. Uh. Acid armor. Okay. Defense rose sharply, buffeted by the hail. Yeah, it's constantly hailing here, I suppose. Uh, so I might quickly just do a nuzzle. I don't think that would take him out in one hit, but I guess we'll find out. Oh no, it won't at all. But it will paralyze you. Maybe unable to move. They use ice beam. Jazz is level 100. We have like a 37 level lead on this guy, so we can handle some hits. It's fine. All right. It's still the second turn. A quick ball could work. Come on, come on. Nah, all right then. We're gonna have to whittle down his health even farther and just try to take him out. Or I might just wanna worry about it later. Maybe this is a sign I really shouldn't be worrying about capturing Pokemon right now. Should just try to figure out where I'm supposed to go. No, wait, I, I chose Nuzzle again. All right. His health is getting lower. I wanna hit him with like one more just major shot. Whoa, whoa! Yikes! Okay, that didn't do much at all, then. We're fine, we're fine. Now we're in the yellow. Okay, do spark. And there we go. Excellent. I might wanna just use a quick revive on Dot and get her set back up. Because everybody else is leveling up here. We got uh, level 91 for both Tom and Sean. It's crazy how far behind Dot is. I guess I had her out of the, the party the most often when exploring. Um, the Isle of Armor. Okay, so yeah, let's get over here. I'll get into my items. Right here. And then, and then we should be good to just continue exploring. Revive, dot, and then like a couple of quick potions might be a good idea. Okay, that's gonna take a while. So, I might leave the rest for later. She's in the green, she's in the green. Green is good. Can I run my bike? Oh yeah, I can. Oh, there's so many cool Pokemon around, but like I said, we'll worry about taking all these guys on afterwards. Just definitely stay tuned. Oh, there he is. Aha, this must be the Max Lair that Naya was talking about, which means my darling daughter is in there right now, having a giggle with some rare Dynamax Pokemon. Hmm? Oh, it's you again. Well, kid, maybe you ought to come as well. Right. Just you hold on, Naya, my dear. Here comes Papa! What if she's not in here? What if she went into the, the station we were just at, just went to go get a coffee or something? Whoa, look at you! Ah, okay. So many cool new Pokemon I've never seen before. That's awesome. Okay, so here we are in the max lair. Please, sir, I can't let you. Oh, I think you can. My precious daughter's in there, and I'm going in after her. I understand, sir, but, but what? I'm here to have an adventure and I want to kick it off right now. I simply can't allow it, sir. Urgh. What seems to be the issue? Oh, there you are, lad. So you come after all, have you? Something the matter? Nothing's all right and everything's the matter. This ultra mega numpty of a scientist and system getting in my way, that's a little rude. I'm sure she, she has her good reasons. Numpty of a, I beg your pardon, sir. If you'd be so good to, as to simply listen, I could let you through. Dynamax adventures are quite fraught with peril, I'm afraid, and 
God, I've got no patience for standing and listening to you rattle off the, the fine print. This really is like a current up version of Pop. Huh, we're just going around in circles. You seem to know this gentleman. Would you simply listen to my explanation? If so, then can I allow you the two of you to enter as a pair? Ha ha, now you're talking. Go on then, let's hear what the good old lady's got to say. And then we'll go find my little Naya together, right? Right. All right, sure. Uh, maybe we should talk to some of the other people around here first. Go on then, let's hear what the good lady's got to say. And then we'll go, see, yeah, okay, so. Just saying the same thing again. Hello. We have Pokemon helping us out with our investi investigations too, you know? Well, that's cool. And then this just looks like a trainer over here. Hi. I've got wonderful items to offer you in exchange for Dynite Ore. We don't have any Dynite Ore. Good to know, though. Um, that we can exchange stuff. Do come again. Are you ready to hear my explanation of Dynamax Adventures? Of course. That's what I like to hear, mate. I owe you one. Very well, then I will proceed. The Max Lair is a labyrinth a labyrinthine underground cavern where rare Pokemon dwell, the likes of which normally are not found in the Gower region. Dynamax Adventure. Form a team of four trainers and set off to explore the mysterious Max Lair. See if you can find the legendary Pokemon said to await you in the deepest part of this unusual den. To take part in the Dynamax Adventure, you must borrow a single Pokemon to accompany you. Get things started by having each trainer select the Pokemon they will take with them on their adventure. As you explore this den, you'll come to branches in your path. Decide as a team which way to go. When you come across a Dynamax Pokemon, it'll be time for a Max Raid battle. Catch the Pokemon and you can swap it with the one you have if you think it'll help you press on into the depths of the den. Interesting. To avoid the risk of Gower Particle overexposure, which can cause your own dear Pokemon to lose control, we've prepared Pokemon for you that are resistant to other particles' effects. Right, right, I follow you. You're saying you don't want Gower losing control, so the Pokemon's rent some particles, and we might see a rare overexposure. That was stunningly incorrect, sir. This is a dangerous place. Please make sure you're, you're, you've a firm grasp on the rules. I'm still a touch lost, but that's the type of place this is, eh? Right, sounds like this is all a bit behind me, so I'll just go on in and get cracking. Here comes Papa, my, my darling Naya. Sir, no, I've just told you it's too dangerous. What is going on with that man? He looks so much like Chairman Rose, but his attitude doesn't match the Chairman's at all. Oh, maybe he's like his brother or something. Well, when you're ready to go chase him down, <sighs> pardon me. I meant when you're ready to begin your Dynamax adventure, please let me know. Well, I'm ready now. Hello. If you go on a Dynamax adventure, I will provide you with Dynamite Ore or Dynite Ore as a reward. I'll also allow you to keep one, just one of the Pokemon you catch along the way. Would you like to embark upon a Dynamax adventure? Yes, please. Would you like to save your adventure so far? Yeah. Now saving your adventure, you saved your progress. Cool, so this is interesting. Dynamax adventure. You're still new to Dynamax adventures, so we suggest trying them alone for now just to get a little familiar with the rules before you invite some friends to join you. Okay then, so the adventure ends when Pokemon faint four times total or 10 turns elapse in a single battle. So this is basically like a Dynamax battle, but more. Everyone will take turns choosing which Pokemon they'd like to take with them. So we have Wigglytuff, Raichu, and Salazzle. So, oh gosh, I don't have much time to choose here. Um, I like Raichu, I'm gonna choose Raichu. So this is interesting. Uh, so what do we got here? We got Raichu, Wigglytuff, Basculin, and was that Lanoon? I didn't get the chance to really see. It was, yeah, I think it's Lanoon. There's a strong water type reaction coming from over there. So we can, oh, so I gotta keep in mind the types that we have and the types that we're going against here. So let's try Ghost. I think that most of our team would be fine here. Everyone talked it out and the group decided to take on the Ghosts. I think this is something I will mostly play single. I don't think I'm gonna be playing online because I don't think Pokemon, this game so far hasn't given you the chance just to play online with random people. Whoa, it's Rotom, which I don't have. So that'd be great to have here. Whoa, you are glitching all over the place. So let's give this our best try. I didn't realize Rotom was a ghost type. Like ghost electric maybe? I will use, we'll use, um, we'll just immediately go into our max Mindstorm and hope for the best. Raichu is so cool, though. 
But yeah, we'll be able to keep one of these Pokemon that we do this, that we get throughout this adventure, which is really cool. Um, hopefully that means we can get like good control over some Pokemon that we didn't have before we can get. Man. I don't know if I, yeah, I, I definitely have a Raichu. But I haven't seen Dynamax Raichu yet. So that's really cool to say. I don't think it's Gigantamax. We're using Liquidation on him. So far, so good. Now Max Mindstorm. Ooh, not too bad. Almost halfway down already. So as long as the rest of the team sort of keeps things focused here, we should be good. Okay, the battlefield got weird. Uh, oh, poor Lanoon gets struck by that lightning. So it is, I think, a lightning ghost type. I'm happy to be back in the Pokemon battling, though. Especially Dynamax battles are always so much fun, even if they can be a little bit, you know, exhausting at times. Especially now that we're going against new Pokemon, we're exploring new areas, that's always the most fun thing. So we'll go ahead and do another Mindstorm here. Let's definitely get you under half health this turn. Oh, that was a good move. Yeah, he hasn't had any shielding, and I wonder if that's gonna be something different here in the Dynamax Cave, or whatever this is called, I forget already. The Dynamax Adventure or something like that. Um, there's Liquidation again. Oh, now you're like at your bottom fourth. Whoa, we're almost there. Super effective with that throat chop, and he's confused. But he was still able to use Max Phantasm. So yeah, oh gosh, poor little, uh, fish Pokemon I forget the name of. I would love to hear though, have you been able to get the Crown Hunter DLC? What are your thoughts on it? Have you been having fun with it? What kind of cool new Pokemon have you run into? Love to hear all about it. But with that being said, let's keep going. Oh boy. Yeah, the storm is growing stronger, but we're about to finish him off. The Dazzling Gleam coming in, and then I'll finish him off. Okay, so Rotomus week, throw a Pokeball now, catch. Yep, for sure. We're just gonna throw a normal Pokeball. That should be fine. Ooh, gotcha. All right, Rotom, you're all mine. Gotcha, Rotom was caught. So there's our first battle done in this giant cave system. So cool. And yeah, we don't quite add you to the Pokedex yet, but this is our chance to switch Pokemon if we want it from a, a electric psychic to an electric ghost. Um, I might go for it because it also has a fire type move. So like maybe this can give us a little bit more variety. Um, with that being said, let's take on the steel because if we're electric, we don't want to take on a rock type. It's weird that the fish Pokemon got healed because he got knocked out, but Noon is still at half health. That's why I get a little bit worried. Are my teammates gonna really be useful? It's gonna be Kaparaja, which I might have. Like, it doesn't actually tell me. I thought it would, next to the, the Pokemon's name. But maybe I don't have Kaparaja? I can't remember. Um, Fight, and uh, we don't have Dynamax. Interesting. So let's try Will Wisp. It's Kaparaja. It's Fire, so Steel should, against Seal, that should be good. So we'll have to do what we can here with no Dynamax. I didn't realize that was gonna have to be something restored between turns. Oh no. The noon is substituting there. I don't quite know how that works. Okay, that just burns them. Okay, so I guess at this point we, we're gonna be better off just using the electric type move. So it isn't a very good fire type move, but I mean, he's burned. It will hurt him over time, just very tiny amounts. Let's do Electro Ball then. Whoa, nice from, uh, is it, it's not Barracuda or something like that? Something, I don't know, I don't remember. And there's Electro Ball, it doesn't do much. This is probably, well it is the same type attack bonus, so you'd think. Flash Cannon on the wiggly top. Okay, so maybe we should try Nasty Plot what is nasty, the user, no, 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 not that. We could try Hex. This one was attacked as massive damage to a target affected by status conditions. Well, you know what he is? He's affected by burn, which is a status condition. Whoa, that is still doing so much to him. Throat chop, also does some good work. Will this finish him off? Almost. All right, well, 
Caparaja's weak throw Pokeball now. All right, I don't remember if I have Caparaja, so we might as well just throw this out. And it's a normal Pokeball. We're not really wasting much if we do. Okay. And there we go, Caparaja was caught. Awesome, so that's another Pokemon for us. And do I want to move forward with Caparaja? Maybe? But maybe not. Maybe, maybe I'll, I think I'm good without it. Okay. Oh, so they switched over to Caparaja, perfect. You found some berries laying on the ground. Um, oh, HP was restored. Which path do we want to go for? I'm thinking the grass would be good. Maybe. Oh, but if we went the other way, we could have gotten berries. Okay, so that's also something on our path we have to keep in mind, is the potential rewards after the battle. Whoa, what is this thing? Cradily, cradily? Something like that, cradily? I don't know. Um, so, let's see how we handle this one. Fight. Uh, so we could do Will of the Wisp and then we could do that one move. I don't think we need to Dynamax here. I definitely want to save it because I don't know what else we might be coming up on. Okay, gonna use Taunt on him. And the Fire, if it's Grass type, this should do at least some damage. More than that, we can use that to do the other move. Whoa, ho, ho. oh wow, oh wow, that hurt. So we gotta be majorly careful of that. I don't know if uh, Rotom's gonna make it here. Okay, nice shield from Caparaja, I suppose. Okay. So, let's use the Hex now that Will of the Wisp is doing its thing. Oh my. Uh, a new new substitute. I'm guessing that means it's, yeah, I gotta switch out and then do throw a chop next turn. And let's try Hex out. Oh, it does some decent damage, but I think we need to go Dynamax or something, because this is not going perfectly well. But the overgrowth hits me again, so it's too late. That'll definitely take Rotom out. I'm so sorry, Rotom. So what do we do now? Do we just re revive or? The storm is growing even stronger. So as you can see, this gets tough. Like Iron Man surviving all this. Hmm. Okay. The burn really isn't doing much. So like I definitely think I need to switch out a Rotom. I can I can I can't really. Never mind. Um I can cheer you on! You cheered for your side. Yeah! I'm doing so much! I think I do eventually get the chance to hop back in, but for right now I just have to sit out for a moment. Do that throw chop. We're getting closer, that's for sure. Ancient power now. Yikes. So there goes the substitute. Steel roar, wow, that hurt. Why haven't we been doing that the whole time? Okay, the battlefield cleared. That'll help out us whenever we spawn back in. Here we go. Cover from the fainting. Oh, and at full health too. So we're going to fight and just go for the Hex again. So I can't even do the Dynamax now even if I wanted to. Ooh, hiding under water. Got the Throat Chop again. Come on, Rotom, do the Hex. So close to getting it, the Copperage can just attack. Really hurts Rotom though. Come on, come on, not Iron Defense. You could have attacked here and won. What are you doing? Well, that was silly. Um, almost. So our Dynamax is ready again. It would not be worth doing right now. Just defeat him. He's almost there. Boom, see, so easy. I'll definitely catch you, because I know for a fact we don't have this Pokemon. So hopefully if we had all the other ones, we can keep this one at least. Because I honestly don't remember if we had Caparaja or Rotom. Well, I definitely have the thing that evolves into Caparaja. So if I could choose something else, I should probably. 
All right, then, Cordelia's caught. I might switch over to Cordelia, to be honest with you. Yeah, it seems like it might be a good idea. Let's switch, swap Pokemon. And, oh, was that a good timing? Yeah, because grass is good against water. And that's what I gotta try to keep an eye out for is like, what's after. <coughs> Whoa! Oh, isn't this a legendary Pokemon? Sweet, sweet, sweet coon? I'm pretty sure it is. Wow, I think it's from like silver? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, Cordilly, let's go ahead and use Energy Ball. It's super effective. I wish I had the Dynamax right now, but I don't. That's okay, we can still make this work. I would love to catch this Pokemon out of everything. <laughs> Sorry, Cordilly, I'm sure I can get you somewhere else quite easily. So it looks like the last Pokemon it gives you might be like, you know, the best one. Okay, come on, Energy Ball coming in. It did okay. It's super effective, but what we need to do is Dynamax. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, still can't Dynamax. I just have to hold on for now. Psychic Fang is out. Yeah, everybody else is trying to throw in some damage. I don't know what type Suicune is. But yeah, I guess this is where, as far as I understand, there's going to be tons of legendary Pokemon, if not all of them. Wow, poor Cordilly. In the harsh end of the stick here. Okay, let's use that energy ball again. Got you almost half light. We got about a third of the health gone. All right, well, everybody is doing their moves. We just don't have to wait for everything to sort of churn its way through. Okay, fight. Actually, can I use an item? I can't, so this is still our best bet. Just do energy ball. We're probably gonna get taken out here, but then I can come back, use the Dynamax. Oh no, actually she went for, her, for him instead. Well, this is still a long battle, taking a lot of time and energy. Throat chop, wow. Oh, there we go. Now we're working with something. Okay, getting closer and closer. So we can just getting desperate. And now we can Dynamax. Let's hope it actually is worth my while. It might be a little too late, but max overgrowth. Here we go. Okay, so as you can see, we got a giant Cordelli coming in. Oh, very cool. So obviously we don't have too much health here, but hopefully enough to survive one hit. That's all I need. Oh, Ice Fang does not do much. So it must be Ice type, right? I think it might be, it looks like it. So we can nullify the stat change, I guess and liquidation. Maybe it's a water type? I don't know. Well, we'll find out, because we're gonna definitely choose to catch that one. It's a legendary Pokemon, you can't say no. Come on, we're running out of turns here, though. Oh, no, 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 come on, you're kidding. Ah! Oh, we were so close there. I really hope we don't get knocked out here. No! <laughs> Let's say this adventure has reached its end. That stinks, we'll have to keep at it. Um, okay, I do get to keep a Pokemon though. And it doesn't tell me whether I have them or not. I feel like I wanna keep Rotom. Let's check summary. I don't know how I would know if it's in my team or not. <laughs> um, I, yeah, does it say anywhere though? I guess not, so we're just gonna choose Rotom. I think Rotom would be a good one to go for. So there we go, let's select Rotom. Yep. And we also get Dynite Ore times three. Sounds good. Uh, no nickname for Rotom. Uh, it didn't say any Pokedex info. So I guess I already had Rotom. Like that, why wouldn't it tell me? <laughs> That's sort of silly. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, so maybe you'll spot Peony's daughter somewhere. Were we supposed to survive that? I don't know. So we're still walking around the cave. 
Oh, there she is. Hang on, I recognize you. Are you here for a Dynamax adventure too? Wicked, I guess we're on the same wavelength. I'm Peonia, nice to meet you. Nice to properly meet you. What about you, what's your name? I'm Zebra. Wow, what a perfect name for you, who really suits you? Thank you. So is my dad on his way here too? I haven't seen him. Has he got turned around and wound up back at the entrance? Listen, sorry for using to distract my old man back there. He's as stubborn as a mud bray. Things go all right after I left. Yeah, I beat him in a Pokemon battle and everything was fine. What, you beat my old man? You should have pulled a, bl a blinder there. He used to be a gym leader, you know. Even on his holiday, he's no pushover. You know, my dad was going mad with excitement for this trip. He kept going on about how he'd plan for us to check out local legends on the super intense adventure called uh, 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 Check out local legends on the super intense advent adventure tour or advent tour, as he calls it. But I mean, come on, what girl my age would be caught dead doing stuff, some naff thing like that with her dad? I mean, just do what you think is fun, not just because of what's fitting for your age. Besides, I really fancy having more battles with Dynamax Pokemon. Ah, the thrill of battling one of those massive towering Pokemon. Just thinking about it gets me pumped. <laughs> Well, I just got done with that even though I didn't do very well. You know what, I just had a thought. You're a pretty fierce trainer, right? And I bet you could handle taking my place in my old man, man's adventure. Uh, sounds like great fun. To right it does, it's a brilliant idea if I do say so myself. He's so hyped up about all this, it'd be a shame just to leave him on his own. And who knows, you could end up running into a legendary Pokemon. How about I meet back up with you two after I've had my own fun in the Max Lair? Go on then, enjoy your two, your twosome tour of legends. Tell my old man to the deal and all that. Sure. These two are very interesting characters. Oi. Oh no, I don't think he turned out very well. I mean, we didn't either, but. Uh, is he okay? The poor gentleman has been injured. After much kicking and screaming, I brought him back here. Oh, it hurts, it's ultra mega hurts. Naya, where's my darling Naya? <laughs> what happened? This fine gentleman appears to have tripped on a rock and struck his head. <laughs> uh, adventures aren't supposed to be taken lightly. I've learned that first hand now. First hand, I mean. I was just checking to see if my little girl was behind some rocks and look how I've ended up. Behind some rocks? Is your daughter a roly coly, sir? There we go, I'm up. No little bum's gonna keep me down for long. That kid's got me feeling right as rain. How about it then, lad? Did you find my darling Naya? I did, but... Hmm, you don't say. Steer Naya set on staying away till she's had her fill of this Dynamax adventure stuff. Oh no, she's just walking away. And she wants the two of us to go ahead and get cracking on the Grand Peony Adventure. You know, I burned the candle at both ends working out the best itinerary I could, f I could for my dear Naya's sake. But I guess she's at the age where she doesn't want her old man tagging along all the time. Trying to press her into doing what I want to do probably won't win me any doubt of the year awards. Right then, what's your name, kid? Cheers, Zebra, my name's Peony. Wait, have I already told you so? <laughs> and it's twice as nice to meet you. All right then, so we get Peony's lead card. We put it in our album. Let's have ourselves such a smashing adventure that my dear Niall will be itching to join in the fun. Yeah, let's. Now that's an ultra mega great response. Just what I was hoping to hear. <laughs> We're going to have ourselves a real treat of a legendary Pokemon hunt. So that's decided. Now then, Zebra, let's get ourselves to Freezington. Into town just short of ways off. Time for a strategic plan and meeting for Peony's adventure. I'll fill you in on the details once you get there. I say, let us reconvene post haste. Ha, just blowing your leg. Can you imagine if I actually talked that way? <laughs> what an interesting fellow. I like him. Hello. Would I to embark on a Dynamax adventure? Uh, no thank you. 
So yeah, that was a very cool first look at the Crown Tundra. Very amazingly snowed off area. These cool Dynamax adventures, I definitely want to explore and do more of those and actually complete them. Not lose, he is still running. We could probably keep up with him. Actually, no, he's quite a fast runner. But I guess right down that way. Yeah, there's a nice little town. This is Freezington, I suppose. So we'll have to catch up with him and explore more of the Crown Tundra in the next episode of Pokemon Sword and Shield, the Crown Tundra DLC. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.